black boxes, which are usually thought of as in airplanes, that's where they get all the data after there's a crash or something. Uh, right now, they're actually in 90% of all new vehicles sold in the United States, which is a, a crazy amount. And uh, by 2014, if the National Highway Traffic uh, Safety Administration has its way, it'll be in all new cars sold in America. And uh, I think this is interesting because it goes to all this privacy stuff that we've been talking about. You know, the government's watching your metadata on your emails and on your phone calls. And then in just in terms of with the car, you know, if you have Easy Pass or one of those things, they know when you're, what bridge you're going over and when you're doing it. And now they're gonna have the black box, which is gonna tell them how fast you're going. And uh, you know, if you went through a red light and all that stuff. Does this ever end? I mean, this again is the technology thing, but does this stuff ever really uh, end in any sort of good way for, for regular people? I would think it, it was, it's okay to a point, but the problem is as soon as the insurance companies came in and said they'd like to know about how this is working yeah. and we're gonna do this for your safety, I don't trust any insurance company. I don't <laughs> trust you. <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna yeah. do the story really quickly. My car was scratched in a parking lot when you leave your keys with the attendant. And it was a lot of people at work. It was our last few lots ago. And I asked him, I said, did you scratch? He goes, oh no, I don't even know when that happened. So I said, someone must have scratched by it. So I go through their insurance company for the lot. I was like, well, you know, you own the lot. Is there some way through this? The first response, I mean, before they even assessed the information was, oh, well, no, it's complete. Why would it be our fault? It has nothing to do with us. Yeah. When it's in your, like, like, I mean. The print on your ticket, Yeah, maybe. yeah. I, I, would, I, would, I would enjoy if you at least act like you looked at the situation. Yeah. Yes. You know? Pretend like you're doing your job. Yeah, so, so the, the, I, I don't trust them. I'm worried with my trust I almost trust think you're pro black happens. box by what you're saying because the black I box was. will record the scratch and then right. you'll be able but to. But the reason is because I'm now that guy who's, who's thinking, but what do they do to fiddle with this black box? There's technology behind right. the black box. Right. And can I trust what information they've collected from this black box? Because yeah. then they say, JR, you were going 100 miles an hour. And I was like, I swear I was going 65. Right, so they'll be able to tag you for speeding all the time. Again, know what bridges you're going over and how fast you're Almost doing it. And you're using Google Maps already to get wherever you're going, so yeah. they know where you're going. I don't want to play everything into this paranoid yeah. state, but it, it's all sort of legit, and we kind of need to talk about it, it right? It is. and, and, and it was once again, it's the slippery slope with this stuff. It's like, oh, well, it's in there. How do we go back? How do we draw a line with this? I mean, this is a device in my car that I own. I own that yep. device. And you're telling me I have no control over the yeah. information inside of it? What the fuck is going on <laughs> right. here? Right, they're right, because if you want a car, if they get their yes. way every- Do I have a choice to turn it off? Can Am I allowed to do that? Can I opt out? Wouldn't that, maybe that would be a nice little thing. Maybe we could lobby for an opting out because we should be able to do that. I would take $3,000 off the price of my car if you don't have it in there. Or yeah. maybe if I get, compl if you get some control of it, you, know, you pay the extra $3,000. Yeah. I think we have an image of the black box, by the way. Let's take a look and see what a black box looks like. Wow. It's not even black. It's silver. <laughs> yeah. For all that. It's just a, it's a little metal box. And if you run across it, you have no idea. Well, and you know, here's the thing too, is that, okay, if, I mean, almost every single, I haven't been in an accident in a long time, yeah. knock on wood, but um, the two that I was in that were bad, the other person lied through their teeth. So in some ways, it's like, if this thing does have true information and we were all to use it in a really, you know, justified way, it could be it could be a good thing. Of course, but that's just like the but NSA a lot of stuff. Ifs like, in there. <laughs> right. Right. I mean and do yeah. the ifs ever that's the thing, and, and that's the problem with all the spying and all this stuff. The ifs are what we're all afraid of. Yes. And those are the things that end up And that's what our constitution generally in the past used to protect us against. Yeah. All of those gray area ifs you know, benefit of the doubt kind of things. And that is, that's all going away. There's no more benefit of the doubt for any of us. You know, we're all in service of this other thing. And, you know, I was just thinking the other day, just even the term big data, which is what they use, mm -hmm. it's such a 1984 doublespeak thing. It, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it sounds cool. IBM has commercials about it. It's got graphics. Yeah. It's got its own PR agency, obviously, but it's, if, you know, if, if I was listening to an interview with Edward Snowden this morning and it was like hearing him talk and it was like, wow, when you get down to what these people are really, really doing, big data is just such a whitewashing of what's going on. It's just. Yeah. All right. So we'll go with a little jump off that then. How much of this is just, uh, they let us know about this kind of stuff. You know, we find out about the NSA stuff. We find about black boxes in our cars and phone tapping and all that stuff. How much of it is actually not even the literal stuff that they're doing, but the real value in it is just the fear 
that's created around it. You know what I mean? At this point, it makes no difference whether they catch Snowden or whatever, mm -hmm. but there's now a, a, a sense of fear. You know, people have already said that the uh, informants are being quieter now, people are losing contact. So it's really about fear yeah. more than the specific little instances, right? Yeah, I mean, of course, if they get the chance to get Edward Snowden, they're oh, gonna get him. Yeah. But in the meantime, they're thinking, well, at least there's not gonna be any others. Because do you want to go through this? Right. Do you want to sit in you the? I think it was life? the transit center in yeah. Russia. In Russia, and we know how great Russia is, <laughs> yeah. right? He's as definitely as not wearing anything with a rainbow on it because that was part of that law too. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah. he can sit in the Thank transit center. Like, yeah. How sick of Panda Express he must be at this <laughs> point. Like, what do you, is he just have to go to the food court every day? Like. <laughs> Where is he? Really? No one's talking about it. Doesn't anyone have Google Glass at the Russian airport? <laughs> There's got to like, be a borscht buffet or something got, there. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah.